Right guys, the last of the Teesside books are now done. Um, a very South Bank story is going to be out one way today via Kindle. The links are in the, this video. Um, I know you can be, you think, well, I wonder what it's about. Clues in the name. Um, it's, it's, it's a bit of a South Bank legend who's, um, who's doing the forward. And then there's um, this book based, I mean, I've done the introduction, but this this book is entirely um, Paul Venice's memories, uh, living in the South Bank community, growing up, hearing the stories, you know, of this legend, if you like. Um, bit of a, like a, you know, if you can imagine living in Nottingham with Robin Hood, that kind of thing. Um, Inverness with the Loch Ness Monster, um, yeah, uh, God, Braveheart in Scotland and, you know, but obviously Paul was growing up with this story being influenced by um, a figure that was very far from a tall story, this, this was real life and it's just basically um, Paul's, Paul's kind of a young kid being bullied but growing up Hearing the stories of Lee, and there's, there's a lot of people when I done the the, the Lee Duffy books and um, and the, the documentaries, they, they wouldn't they would never have spoke to me if uh, if I'd have asked. Um, they were like, no. But Paul was one of them. So I know there's a lot of people who've told Paul things were like, um, I mean, there's actually one of the Duffy family in in this book. But the um, I know there's people that were really really close to Lee that wouldn't. Have, wouldn't have spoke to me for one minute, but you know, I've, I've give Paul input. Um, the book, so you know, it's going to be basically ten chapters on. You've heard the Middlesbrough side, you've heard the Newcastle side, um, but this is South Banks, and before he was Middlesbrough's, before he was Newcastle's, he was South Banks. Uh, he was very patriotic about South Bank, loved the place. You know, everyone's heard of people being patriotic about Scotland and Wales, Ireland, but he was he was South Bank. Um, one of Lee's favourite sayings was "South Bank, sweet as a nut." So it's just, it's just basically Paul Venice. Obviously, he's going to be playing the part of Lee Duffy in um, in the Sayers film. And Paul's, you know, there's like there's, the book's ten chapters, and it's you know it, it covers basically. Um, all this, you know, the stories of Paul growing up, hearing this, this figure influencing his own life, if you like, and like, you know, obviously people are aware of um, of the path Paul Venice was once off. It wasn't always this British champion, European champion, world champion, Christian, quiet, sensible family man. He was um, once upon a time he was down a very, very extremely dark path, and I, I think his. Um, I think his life very much mirror images Lee Duffy's before obviously he woke up, found God, um, you know, found Shane Taylor or whatever and be become the Paul Venice now, which is, I've got to thank Paul massively because he's opened doors for me. Working with him is like, uh, I've tried with, with other people and I've actually, in the new year, we're going to be going into prisons um, to, to oh, Paul's got me a Paul's really kind of opened the door for me. So yeah, I spoke I spoke to um one of the quite high up in the prison system, and Paul was like, he's going to be obviously we want Paul in, and then they're like, well, everyone in here read your books, and will I come in and on a regular basis? So Paul's really kind of yeah, if you're watching Paul, uh, you, you've you know you, he's been good at good me and um. Yeah, but going back to the book, um, which is only going to be twelve ninety five in the paperback, um, and that in that also it's going to support a registered charity chosen by Paul himself. Um, he chose an autism registered charity because um, this is something really close to, to Paul's heart. Um, he's got a lovely little girl called Vienna, who's um, I think she's. Um, she's too young to be registered yet, but I think she, you know, has got a few problems. And and Paul and his his good lady Sammy, they've they've really been through hell, you know. So Paul's, it's you know, he wants to do give something back, and if he can do something, um, and do this book, which overall I suppose it's a lot of people will be frowning. It's a bit, it's a, it's a oh, another fucking true crime book. 
But yeah, it's uh, it, it it is it is the last Teesside book I'm ever do doing. Um, you know, certainly from a true crime element. Uh, unless Chris Rea rings me up, um, Jonathan Woodgate, Bernie Slave, and I'm I'm completely done with Middlesbrough. I'm I'm personally now on to London, Liverpool, Manchester, Essex. Um, I want to broaden my horizons and and become hated somewhere else. But um, no, yeah, going back, it's it's the book is out a week today. You can pre-order it now via Kindle, four pounds ninety five, um, and you can pre-order the paperback for twelve pounds ninety five from Warcry Publishing. Um, and in that twelve ninety five, you know we're going to be donating a big, quite a big bit to um, a registered charity. So yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure working with Paul. Uh, he's very laid back. Uh, Always a pleasure to be in his company. I've learned, you know, a lot of issues I've had in the last year. Uh, he's helped me with, you know, where people have kind of almost used it against you and um, drag your name through the mud where Paul's kind of, he's, um, because of the life he's lived and what he's been through, He's he's got empathy. He doesn't judge, you know, because who the hell is Paul Venice to judge anyone? Um but, you know, he's got that nice bit about him. Um, and I'm really looking forward to working with him a couple of years. It's like, it, yeah, it's completely, I was ready to be on and over. And, I, and I, I've got, you know, got quite close to Paul and I said, you know what, you're, me and you were going to do big things together. Um, you know, so, yeah, that's the plan. But, yeah, Paul's going to be doing things with, he, obviously, everybody saw him in the FACA production film, Um fantastically done last week um it's been out it's not paul's the do documentary paul Sugar's documentary it's been out a week um and it's done staggering staggering numbers as we thought really professional job by fat cat productions and i'm looking forward to working with them again on um the roy shaw documentary and other stuff but going back to what this video is about it's all about paul venice um and yeah you can pre-order pre the the book now four pounds 95 via kindle and Twelve ninety five paperback. Kindle is out January the eighth, and the paperback will be out about three or four weeks after that. So you'll be looking at February for that. And as I said, it does support a registered charity, um, and it's ten chapters. There's a very, very well known bit of a legend in South Bank doing the forward, um, and then you've got my introduction, and you've got Paul's bits, and obviously there's there's, there's it's really nice to get um, an unheard member of. Um, you know, Lee's family. So, and that, that's it. And the clues in the name, as I said, it's a very, very South Bank story indeed. Thank you to the people who've um, helped and give their input. Um, you know, like, you know, it's, it's, it's this, this is not about me. This this book is, um, it's just all about Paul Venice narrating a story, if you like, on for the South Bank community for the first time. Because as I said, before he was, known in Newcastle before he was known as this borough legend. He was very, very much South Bank. And when he would be in prison, he'd seek out. And he'd only really want to... If you're South Bank, you would treat like royalty. Um, and it was summit really close to his heart. So, yeah. And uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Another one book done. And, um, yeah, massive big love to Paul Venice and his family. And uh, all the best, Paul, if you're watching. And uh, looking forward to waiting for you for next couple of years god bless don't forget to subscribe to our channel a uh, big thank you to new hemp um i'm a proud ambassador for cbd oil um as you can see complete i'm you know i'm almost cured uh ravage of ravage of anxiety but uh new hemp and obviously if you would like to purchase some you get a 20 percent discount if you use my code jamieboyle20 so yeah keep supporting the page channel god bless thank you so much